Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look at the quiz add-on for Gravity Forms. Gravity Forms is the most popular premium WordPress plugin for Forms. And this quiz add-on is available with the developers package. So here we are with a quiz, which I'll reset. Here we are. And then we have uh, different types of questions that are available on the quiz. So we've got um, some radio buttons. So I think they're the best. You can also have questions with tick boxes, which obviously mean you can answer more than one question. Uh, you can answer with more than one answer to the question. And you can have drop down quiz questions. And at the end of it, you can give your results. And I passed. Let's have a look at what's going on behind. Well, let's start with the page. In the page, we simply have the short code for the form. And you don't even have to type that in yourself because there is an add form button provided by Gravity Forms. You can select the form you want to use. You can choose whether the title and the description is being used and whether Ajax is enabled. for better animation. So here's the form itself. So the form has a name field. Um, we then have a quiz field now. Like all other add-ons, the extra button has been added into the advanced field section. So there's it, there it is, there. And the first variation of that is the radio button. So we have a chance to uh, create a question. We can create a description. And then we can use the option of radio buttons. If we use radio buttons, we can add and remove questions, uh, sorry, answers here. We can use a weighted score, which is why I had a score of 10 when I only answered four questions. We can have weighted scores here. You don't have to have it on all questions, you can just add it onto the ones you want. You can change the order of the answers if you want it. Or you can cheat <laughs> and randomise the order so um, they're not on the same display every time. You can also enable answer explanation. So we have an explanation of what the answer should have been and why. And we'll have a look at that in a second in the reviewing the results. You can also force people to answer a question so you can make them required to make sure they answer the questions and not just ignore ignore it. Again, that's every question. And in appearance, we might want to make the description go above or below the answers that they give. So that's one type of question. Let's go away. Oh, never mind. It'll go away in a minute. So the next type of question we can have for a quiz is a checkbox question. So again, we've got some options. We've got a choice of randomizing them. We've got a choice of enabling an explanation of the answer at the end. We have the option of weighting this, of a weighted scores system. Again, we can say in the appearance where the question is going to appear. Then we've just got another radio button here, which we've gone through, so we'll ignore that one. And the last type of field we can have is a pull down field or drop down field. Again, you can turn on and off a way to score on each question. So this question is actually off. You can see these ticks here, that's where the correct question has been selected. Um, but you can have um, on the tick box you can have more than one right question answer. So on the tip box, I can actually select multiple answers as correct, whereas on the other two, I can't. 
So again, with the uh, drop down, we can randomize the order of the choices it's going to be given, or we can turn that off and we can move them around ourselves. And we can enable a explanation of the answer. So let's go to the results. Uh, leave because I didn't want to say what I played around with. And here we can see the results of the number of entries, the average score, percentage, and the pass rate. Here we can see the uh, different scores, frequency of the scores, and we can see the distribution of the answers with the correct answer. Okay, now uh, we can look at the entries for each individual person. Now, in the settings, we have the ability to send confirmations, which by default is just the message which is on the screen. But we could have sent them to a uh, uh, another page or we could have redirected them somewhere else so that's the message that came at the end of the quiz we have the notifications which gives the answers the results so to speak this one is the one that goes to the admin and you can see it includes all the fields we could also send a uh, an email to um, the person who's done the quiz, but we didn't collect an email address here, so doing such thing would have been rather silly. The other thing we can do on the entries is, if I view it, we'll get to see what the answers were like. And you can see that we've got the answers with the tick the box and our notes. At the end, the answers we, uh, responses we said we put on the questions. Now, one of the things you can do, and slightly change the quiz, if we go into the quiz options, which is extra options just for quiz, we can uh, shuffle the uh, quiz questions, or we can also um, set up instant feedback. I'll show you that in a second. And then below we have a pass or fail, or we can send a, a letter. So we can give them a grade. So a pass or fail, or a or it's a letter, but I mean, it's a grade. And that's the message that was displayed at the end. Yeah, you passed or you failed. But this instant feedback is quite neat. If we go back and do the quiz again, so if I go there, leave, and This time, when I give an answer, maybe I didn't enable it properly. Instant feedback, update settings. Okay, so now I've got instant feedback. So I've been told it's wrong and I've been given the correct answer and I can't change my mind now. Um, unfortunately for this field, checkbox, the instant response doesn't really work because it doesn't know when you finish the question. Um, whereas of course with this it does know when you finish the question and therefore you can make it right or wrong. And again with the pull down it's difficult for the system to tell when you finish the question. So you don't get the, the instant feedback on those. You only really get the uh, instant feedback on a, on a radio button. And there's the results. So the quiz is, um, is really quite neat. It's a simple way of uh, gathering some information or providing a bit of entertainment or uh, testing the knowledge of um, 
of people's understanding, perhaps after some training or a video. But well, that's it. That's the quiz add-on for Gravity Forms. As always, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, you're not happy I worked hard enough, thumbs down. Please put a comment and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you again for watching. For more info, visit wpbusinessclub.com.